Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a review on the Tropical Bliss Rainforest Collection. They sent me a couple products and I was very, very blessed to get some, so thank y'all. Um, and I tried them out and I actually really, really liked the way my hair turned out. Like, I am feeling some type of way right now because my hair looks so good and it smells so good and it's just like moving and whatnot, like, I, I mean, my hair, my curls don't usually look like this. So they're all certified organic, natural ingredient, free trade products. And for this, they actually sent me a bunch of stuff. So I got the bamboo sugar cane shampoo. I got the marshmallow repair mask, some pineapple hair milk, banana leave-in smoothie, grapefruit watermelon oil, berry fresh co-wash, cocoa shea butter and cocoa smooth conditioner so for this tutorial i'm not going to use the last three products because i'm going to do like my whole hair care routine and some of the products it just wouldn't make sense to use like duplicates of the same steps so in this video i'm going to shampoo deep condition and condition my hair and then style it using all the tropical bliss products all right so if you guys want to see what i think about these products how my curls got defined and everything and how i went from a fro to this then please keep watching all right so as you can see this is my hair just in its natural state this is after about two three days i think of not doing anything with it just letting it be itself in its natural afro ways let's get started so the first thing i'm gonna do is go wet my hair and then i'm gonna put in my shampoo all right so just for the purposes of this video because i'm just trying to film it and it's kind of difficult to film in my bathroom i'm just gonna do it all out here in my filming setup so this is not how i would normally shampoo my hair obviously like i would shampoo it in the shower but for the purposes of this video i'm gonna shampoo it in front of the camera so it's not as wet as it should be. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit, a lot, <laughs> and just apply it onto my head. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells clean. It smells like, kind of like lime, but like, with vanilla in it? I don't know. Whew, you know like when you haven't like had your head touched in a while and then you massage it? Oh, it just feels so nice. All right, so I'm gonna go wash this out now and I shall be right back. All right, so that's all washed out. So now I'm gonna go into the marshmallow repair mask and I'm just gonna apply it liberally onto my hair. Ooh, that does smell. It smells exactly like marshmallows. Yeah, <laughs> smells good. And the products are working through my hair really easily. I'm not sure if there's like detangling properties in it or something, but I mean, it's not difficult to get the products in my hair and usually it's like, I'm like fighting with my hair, trying to get it to soak up the products and get it actually worked through the hair, but this, I'm not having trouble at all. I'm gonna focus here on the middle because that's where most of my dry hair comes in and it gets like really, really knotty. You know how most girls have like the kitchen in the back? My kitchen is in the middle. Like, I could grow dreads back there if I don't comb my hair every other day or so. Ooh, my hair is really liking this. Like, my hair is just soaking up these products. Usually like products sit on top of my hair and like you can see the like the product buildup, but this like it's actually like in my hair i'm pleasantly surprised i was not expecting that's really cool i was not expecting my hair to actually soak up products because it never does yay okay okay tropical bliss i see you i do all right it says on the marshmallow repair mask to add a couple drops of the grapefruit oil if you so please so i think i will do that so I'm just gonna take a couple drops, a few drops. 
Ooh, smells good, citrusy. So there's a bunch of different smells going on in my hair right now. I'm interested to see how my hair is actually gonna end up smelling when I'm done with all of this. But that's okay, I like it when my hair smells pungent because then that means I don't have to wear like perfume or deodorant. Just kidding, I wear deodorant most days. All right, so I'm gonna take my little shower comb and I'm just gonna work through the products even more. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 to 30 minutes. It says that you can use it as a hot oil treatment with the grapefruit oil. I didn't read that far before, so I didn't notice that, but I don't have the time to do that today, so I'm just gonna leave it on my hair for 15 to 30 minutes, and I'm gonna put a Walmart plastic shopping bag on my hair to seal in the body heat. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'll be right back. All right, so it's been sitting on my head for about 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna take off the little thingy and go wash it out. My hair feels soft, but it also feels kind of rough at the same time, so I'm thinking maybe I just didn't leave it on long enough or maybe it didn't penetrate my hair as much as I thought it did. But, I mean, it feels pretty much the same as it usually does. Not anything too different so it doesn't feel like insanely moisturized and like super super juicy but perhaps if I had left it on longer it probably would. Anyway I'm gonna go into styling it so I'm gonna use the banana leave in smoothie and I'm gonna work this into my hair in sections just so that I can make sure that my curls get defined and everything and I'm gonna try to work fairly quickly because my hair is gonna dry and if it dries and I try to put the product on top then it's just gonna be product on top of frizz and it's not gonna be curls so don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this leave-in smoothie and apply it to this back section my hair is feeling kind of dry in the back which I wasn't expecting I was expecting it to be a lot more moisturized feeling and then it says to use the pineapple hair milk on top of this smoothie so while I'm working it through the sections, I'm just gonna do the leave-in smoothie and then the hair milk. So this pineapple hair milk. And it's definitely a good thing that it's said to use the hair milk right after this leave-in because if I were to just use the leave-in by itself, it does not make my hair feel good by itself because it feels very brittle right now and very dry and sticky almost at the same time, if that makes sense, and naughty. So if I hadn't known to use this right after that, I would have been left feeling like um, my hair hates this product. But combined with the hair milk, my hair actually seems to really like it. All right, and I'm gonna add some of the watermelon oil on top of that just because I like to do the lock method. Well, the L-C-O method. Yeah, so it's lotion, cream, and then oil instead of lotion, oil, cream because my hair likes the L-C-O method better. All right, so I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and just style it after it's all dry and hopefully that'll happen within the next like hour hopefully it won't take that long i'll be right back after this dries so so this is my hair pretty much dry and as you can see the curls are pretty 
defined. I mean, look at them. Okay, let me zoom in. I mean, okay. They actually look really defined. My curls never look this defined. Like they usually look like they did at the beginning of this video because <laughs> I just don't try to do anything with them, but they look pretty darn defined right now, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I am. The hair does feel, it feels soft. It's definitely really soft, but you can kind of feel the product a little bit. Maybe I put on too much, probably, because I tend to. All right, so I think I'm just gonna style it a little bit now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Let's see here. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm kind of digging it. Okay, feels kind of 80s-ish, kind of Whitney Houston-ish vibes. I don't know, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling my little, my little fro here. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at the little girls. Look at it. Look at the girl. Oh, they're so cute. I'm sorry. I just love it. Like when my hair comes out like this, like look at the little, the little ringlets. Girls. I don't know. I just love my curly hair, man. I'm sorry. It's just appreciation for it, man. All right, so that's it for this video, this review of Tropical Bliss Rainforest Collection. And I have to say, I really enjoy the products. I mean, my hair smells fan freaking tastic. I mean, so good. Like, I'm going to be smelling this for like the rest of the week. It's going to be on my pillows. It's going to be everywhere. It's delicious smelling. Like, I could eat my hair right now. But I am really, really happy with the way my hair turned out. I mean, the definition is more than I usually get and everything I could ask for. The softness is really, really great. The, I have movement in my hair. Usually when it dries, I don't have this kind of movement, you know, especially up here. So I really, really, really like these products. I, have, I mean, I, I don't have any critiques, anything bad to say about them at all. So, I mean... Go out and buy some, man. Like, I didn't even use up a lot of the product. I mean, I only used up like this much on my hair. And I usually use like a lot of product, even though I don't have a lot of hair. But I mean, these, the, a little bit of product goes a long way. They smell really good. It leaves my hair really soft. My hair agrees with it. Hopefully yours will too, if you try it out. Um, other than that, I mean, I have nothing else to say other than I really enjoy these products. Thank you very much, Tropical Bliss, for sending them to me. Really appreciate it. Um, and if you guys like this video, please let me know down below. If you want me to do more reviews and stuff, let me know in the comments because I'm not sure if I should keep doing them or not. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. And catch me back here for my next video. Bye.